Hello, this is Dave's Aquarium Thoughts. Welcome to joining me. Today I have a special unboxing, uh, which is not a traditional unboxing. Uh, this is for the Fluval Nano uh, Plant Spectrum LED. Uh, this is not necessarily going to be a setup unboxing. Uh, what this is, this is a special unboxing because I did not actually buy this. Uh, Streetwise bought it for me. So if you haven't yet, check out his channel and subscribe. Make sure you head over there and do so. Uh, check it out, uh, but definitely check it out. But basically what he did, he bought this for me so I could design something for him. Uh, primarily, uh, this for him is perfect for a, a non-rimmed aquarium. And right now he does have it on some rimmed aquariums. But what he did, he kind of finagled a few things that actually fit it properly in there. Uh, so primarily we were talking about 3D printing and basically we decided okay I'm going to get my give, give it a shot and try to design something for this so I could easily attach it to a rimmed aquarium whether it be like this one or um, the other ones I have or specifically for his. Um, now I'm pro probably going to be actually using this for my new tank that I have coming up so stay tuned for that and I will do a um, I will do a uh, setup video for that for this as well once I get everything situated. But first, this video is going to be about 3D printing a design to uh, be able to put this onto a rimmed aquarium as opposed to a rimless. So let me go, go ahead and open this up and see what I'm working with. Um, I have a few ideas so far just by looking at pictures. Uh, but let me go ahead and open this up and you'll get to see what's in here. Uh, let's see I wish I had my razor, but a pair of scissors is going to have to cut it for me this time. There we go. So let's see what we have. Okay, we got the big instruction manual, so I have that. And as well as the FCC warning, basically stating that this has to do this or that. Um, I'm not going to be looking at this right now because I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about the uh, specific pieces. Um, of course, uh, you got the light, which is uh, this piece right here. Uh, of course, the cable. So that's basically the light, which is primarily what the purpose of this box is. To give light for aquariums and tanks. Um, okay, the plugs. That's not important for me. Primarily, I want to look at is how does this attach to an aquarium and primarily being able to make it fit a rimmed aquarium as opposed to what they include, which is for a rimless. So if you have a rimless aquarium, this video is probably not for you. But if you want to attach this to a rimmed aquarium, this might be more for you. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and see how this works. Um, now let me let me see what the other piece is first because there's one other piece which is to be the more important piece to what this video is about uh, which is the connector that connects it to the base of the aquarium uh, which is this little piece right here uh, let me bring it a little bit closer for you you can see what i'm talking about how that little piece is primarily just for a sheet of glass uh, there are other ways around this um, i know i did find a um, adapter piece uh, which will probably work for this. Although what he's looking for is something to actually basically uh, replace kind of something like this. Uh, so let me go ahead and see what I'm working with here and go from there. Uh, I have a few ideas already. Um, let me see here. Let me see how this connects. Uh, yeah, let's see. I think, I've, I think there's a little piece in here I don't want in there. Yeah, there's, there it is, it's out. A little piece of plasticky kind of thing I didn't want in there, so uh, let's see here. So let me see how this works. So I'm guessing this piece goes right in there, which that's the case. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. So I need to find something that'll connect this middle piece to another adapter for that. So that's one, one option. One option I'm gonna be thinking about is something I can slide this piece in but I think I want to maintain how this thing works, uh, which let me show you how it works a little bit. Um, 
So basically, this comes apart right here. And basically there's a little cylinder in here, which allows it to turn and rotate, I think. Um, so there's basically this piece right here. All I need to do, I think, is find a way to produce something like this, but with a little bit wider thing to actually fit a rimmed connection, which shouldn't be too hard for me to do, uh, though I did not guarantee him anything. So this video is gonna be one of those things, okay, I might fail at it, I might succeed. Uh, he is well aware of that, hopefully. <laughs> if not, I'll contact him again and say, you know what, are you really sure that you really wanna go with this? Oh, we'll see how it does. Um, I should, looking at this, I should be e able to easily come up with something. Uh, but primarily, this piece goes in here. And of course, this adjusts up and down as well. So primarily, I kind of think I do want to keep something like that in, in the build. I'm pretty sure that's what he wants as well. So uh, primarily, this goes in. Yeah. So that goes in there, that goes in there. And that basically allows it for, for to be able to rotate uh, depending on how you want the light. Uh, let me see, let me find, okay, push it all the way in. And of course, you can adjust it up and down. And that's primarily what this screw is for, which is to basically screw in to make it so that that doesn't so adjust. Oops, no, that's, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, so tighten that up and that way this doesn't move as easily. So that's basically how that works. But then you can still adjust it like so. I just need to figure a way to keep it so I can keep it that way. Uh, so it shouldn't be too hard. Primarily it's just finding something to make this thicker. Just to make that part thicker right there. So stay tuned and basically I will be producing something on, um, I think it's Tinker CAD.com, uh, be making a 3D object, and eventually I'll be printing it out through Treat Stock to see how it works, to see if I have success at doing this. That uh, seems relatively easy. The one thing I'm probably gonna have difficulty is with the threading, but I think I, th I think I can manage that as well. And then, of course, it's just finding the right material to 3D print it with. That way to maintain the strength, that way it doesn't crack and break, so. So, let's go ahead and see what I can do.
So I finally received the 3D printed design that I made for the uh, fluval light right here. Uh, make it uh, fit onto a rim tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up and see how it came out and see how it fits this. Uh, that way I can see how it goes, see if I have to do any redesign on it. Um, this one got printed through uh, treatstock.com. Uh, the uh, Basically what it is, it's basically a website that uh, sends off different 3D printed designs to different places. You can basically choose which place you want to get it printed from. Uh, this time uh, the company I went through was Silva Technologies. Uh, they did an excellent job. He was great. Uh, he even texted me back and made sure it was exactly what I wanted and maybe he even asked me if I wanted any design help with it. So let me go ahead and open this up and see what I got. Uh, there might be two different ones in here. Uh, I get think he printed out a couple times, but we'll see what's in here. I haven't opened this yet, but let me open with my trusty scissors here if I can without cutting myself. Let's see here. There we go. And let's see what I got. Uh, let, me, let me cut it this way. Okay, and I'll see if it fits on this thing right here which is the Fluval Plant Spectrum LED, the uh, Nano, uh, which is typically for the smaller tanks. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da. Okay, got a little note. Um, thank you for your purchase. Your purchase helps me to be able to be at home and take care of my disabled wife. We appreciate positive feedback. And I probably will, depending on how this turns out. I'm sure it comes out fine. Uh, hope your project goes well. Let me know what works best out of these three. I put put I put clear tape on the APL A plus one. Thanks, Paul. Please stay safe and healthy. Uh, thanks very much, Paul. I will definitely uh, do that, and I will let you know which one works best. I got one. I got two, and I got three. Oh, and I guess this is a screw that you printed out as well. Uh, so basically, um, this one's the APLA Plus. Um, had some concerns with the material on this, but I think it might be fine, but I'm gonna check out that one last. Uh, these are printed using um, uh, some material. <laughs> I kind of forgot what I used. I don't think it's ABS. Um, I'll put a link in, in down below in, I'll let you know what I used. Uh, but so far these look pretty good, uh, so far from what I've seen. Oh yeah, these definitely look nice. Uh, whether it fits or not onto a rim tank, I don't know yet, I haven't tried it. But it should would, will fit fine, there's one of them. And here's another one. Now this one looks a little rougher than the uh, second one. But they both look good, they both look feasible. Uh, let me go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and see if this fits on here on the tank behind me and see how it fits, how it's supposed to fit. It fits. The little screw on there will probably help keep it in place better. Just a matter of seeing if I have a screw for it. So it definitely fits on the tank fine. Uh, it kind of goes a little bit down, but not too bad for me. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with how it turned out. Uh, now for the real test, which is seeing if the fluval light would be able to fit into it. Uh, so basically, this is the original one that came with it. Uh, basically, this is for, it's basically for the rimless tanks. Uh, but, but I have rim tanks and uh, Streetwise, who I'm designing this for, has uh, rim tanks he wants to put it on. So let me see how this works. Um, okay, so basically this part right here came, it's a round cylinder type that came with the light. Uh, it should hopefully fit in there nicely. And yeah, it definitely fits. It's a little snug. Probably a little snugger than I want it to be, but I think it works. Uh, the only thing I see is the bottom part right here. Um, one one design fly I did do on this was I didn't count for the little nub on the bottom. Personally, I don't care about the little nub, so 
so what I'm going to do on mine is um, I'm probably going to do a redesign on this, a slight redesign. That way I can fit the little nub on the bottom. Uh, but what I'm going to do on mine is I really don't care for that nub. I'm just going to snip it right off. Don't need that nub personally, so I just snipped it right off. And that fits in there perfectly. That is a perfect design. I don't know if you can see this, but it fits in there snugly. Uh, should give it a little room for spinning around. The one thing I did not account for is basically the little hole on the bottom uh, is a little too high. I definitely have to bring that down a little bit or bring this uh, little hole up a little bit. Uh, that's one mistake I did on this that I can see now with this prototype. Though personally, I don't think that's going to be a big deal for me. Uh, I'm not even sure if you really need this kind of screw there. Uh, maybe on this one it probably is helpful, but I think it's fine. This is a nice snug fit. Um, now one thing I want to try out is the little screw that came with it, which is the back piece. I'm hoping it fits well. I'm not sure how it will. And yeah, this, this little screw hole is a little too small. So that's another thing I do need to either go to the hardware store and find one that does work or see if this one that I have printed out works. And once again, that one doesn't work either. So that's that's a slight, slight, slight mistake on that part. I will definitely have to see if that's fixable. Uh, both of these look the same. Uh, now, as far as the third one, which is the one that's made out of AP ALA Plus, uh, this definitely feels nice as well. This one has the tape on it. Uh, Harley, it's hard to distinguish them because they're both black. All three of them are. And, and a little scratches on the top, but let's see how this one fits in there. Oops, upside down. Nope. Okay, this one is not going to work. Huh. Yeah, this one is not going to quite work because the hole is too small. So the material you did, um, let's see, yeah, that's my design, that one fits, and that one's a little bit more snugger. Ugh. So definitely some things I do need to work on on this design. Uh, this one works perfectly fine, uh, this one works great. Now it's just time to actually test it on the tank with actual light on it. So. Let me go ahead and get this set up and go from there. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this light put together and see if I could fit it onto the tank properly. And got the tank parts. So I got that. Um, so I got this part. Uh, this part goes into there. Okay, that part goes into there. Okay. And this is going to feed through that little circular thing. Let's feed that through the circular thing to feed that through there. Oh, that's, that is exactly where I'm going to need the uh, screw thing, but I'm definitely going to have to fix that on my second prototype is I need to bring that little slot up a little bit more. But for now, this shall work fine. Uh, this is just a prototype one. And let me go ahead and put on a take and see how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna have to find another tank, so bear with me. So I tried a few tanks. Um, the one that I think it fits on the best is going to be right behind me, which is my 60 gallon. Uh, although I can't really test it, test it without the proper screw. So I'm definitely going to need to go down to the hardware store and then try to find the right size screw that's going to screw into that one. If I even, I mean, this, this one looks like the same size. What I might have done is I might have accidentally put it in backwards, which is totally possible. I wasn't sure which way it goes in. Um, but that's that. Um, what I am going to need to do is I do need to 
do a few minor tweaks to this. A few things do not work. Um, like like the, the hole there, the hold in the uh, adjustable height, uh, that one I need to fix. As well as I do need to make uh, this little thing a little wider because this does not even fit on my 40 gallon breeder. So it won't fit over the rim on that. Um, it fits on my 20 gallon long that I got. Uh, it fits on there. But I can't really test it out without um, the screw because basically when I put it on there, with the weight of the light, it wants to fall into the tank. Um, I think this is an easy fix of getting the screw in there. Uh, of course, when I do put the screw in there, I'm probably going to put like a piece of sponge on the end just to protect the glass a little bit better. Um, or I might figure out something to actually maybe uh, 3D print a design on that as well. Uh, so back to the drawing board, do a few tweaks to this and wait for prototype number two to arrive. Mm -hmm.